Hello, so we're here today to talk about how to measure your pin dimensions on your excavator bucket. Now, this is really important when you're buying a new excavator bucket because these dimensions are really critical and they vary from machine to machine. It's especially important if you're on a manual quick hitch, less so if you're on a hydraulic because generally the hydraulic hitches have more room for the latch to come back and thereby take up some of the slack. So how do you measure the pin centers? Well, firstly, you need a steel rule, which we've got here. This one's in metric and imperial, but we generally recommend measuring all your measurements in metric because it's a lot more accurate. And the tape measure is also useful. So we'll start. The first thing I'll say is easiest to do this if the pins are not in the bucket. So for this purpose, I'm just gonna take the pins out. So the first measurement you need to get is the diameter of the pin. So here, I'm gonna put this on one side of the boss, my steel rule on one side of the boss and measure to the other. And in this case, it's 30 millimeters. Now, just a quick word about that. Generally, the pins are in standard sizes. So the smallest pin that I know of on a mini excavator is 25 millimeters, and then they go up 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. There is very few machines on 55 and then 60, and then it jumps generally up to 80 millimeters for the 20 ton excavators and, uh, and so on. The next measurement we need to get is the what we call the dipper gap. So this is the measurement from one boss to the other boss. So the easiest way to do this, and I'm just gonna take the pin right out for this, is to take a tape measure and push that through one hanger and put your tape measure up against the, the boss on the other side. And here I can see that this bucket is measuring 107 millimeters on my dipper gap. The third measurement we need to get is what we call pin centers. So as the name suggests, this is from the center of one pin to the center of the other. And again, this measurement is really, really critical because as I said at the start, with a manual quick hitch, these are on set centers that they can pick up on. So the easiest way to measure this is to measure from far side of one boss to the near side of the next boss, thereby getting the same measurement as your center to center. And on this bucket, I put the tape measure on there or I could use the steel rule and it's 132 millimeters. So there you have it, that's your third key dimension. So just to run over that again, the three critical dimensions are pin diameter, dip a gap and pin centers. I trust you found this video informative and as always if you need any more help with this our customer service team are there to assist you with this process and ensure you get the right bucket for your machine every time.